Hello my lovelies, welcome to today's video which is what Vivi and I eat in a day. We absolutely love watching food videos on YouTube so we thought that we'd share what our kind of daily diet consists of and yeah if you like our sorts of um, videos please subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you here and click the like button. So here we go, let's get into it. So for breakfast Vivi's got toast because I'm hoping that will help with her teething because she's cutting her back right molar at the moment and then she's got a bit of fruit and then also she has a yogurt and um, that is the out pro blueberry yogurt she really really likes these and i kind of tend to mix up the flavors so tomorrow she'll have vanilla and obviously today she's got blueberry and she has this just in, instead of um a milk or a bottle of milk for breakfast because she doesn't really like any um cow's milk alternatives so we give her yogurt instead to make sure she's got her calcium and I've just got my morning cup of tea because I need it to help wake me up and I am absolutely shattered this morning. We always eat breakfast in the front room in front of the telly. Just I think it gives a bit, little bit more of a relaxed vibe. And Vivi seems to eat a little bit more actually when she's in the front room, don't you darling? Because you can eat a little bit of toast and then have a little play and then come back for a little bit more toast. And we just find it works better for us. Like obviously when I first started weaning her, I gave her it in the high chair. Um, but I just found she didn't eat a lot of breakfast when she was in the high chair. So I think maybe it's because she looks forward to playing with her toys when she comes down in the morning. So now she can multitask. Although sometimes it does get stuck in the rug, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so it's now nine o'clock and a couple of hours after Vivi had her breakfast. Now I'm gonna have my breakfast. So I've done myself another cup of tea because as a mum, I find that I pretty much make myself a cup of tea and it goes cold basically every time I make it. So I managed to drink a couple of mouthfuls out of the other uh, cup, but I'm gonna try and drink this full cup because I'm definitely in need of the caffeine this morning, like I said. And I've just basically got buttered um, granary toast, um, which I really like. And to be honest, Vivi didn't eat a lot of hers, so she'll probably want some of mine. Uh, I then take um, a multivitamin with iron. So iron is just basically to raise my levels, um, just because I found, found myself feeling pretty tired recently. And also I know it helps with skin and hair. So I'm gonna take one of these. And these are quite good actually. So these are obviously Boots own brand, but a lot of multivitamins you, you have to take with food. And these ones you don't actually have to. Um, you just have to drink uh, quite a bit of water to take with them. And I, quite often I forget um, to take them if they say take with food, because that's obviously the last thing that I'm thinking about I'm just thinking about stuff in my face so I'm gonna have one of those and then also I'm gonna have one of these yogurts now these are from Aldi and I think these are so nice so the Brooklyn light layer Greek yogurt and this is the peach and peach and passion fruit one and how many calories is in the pot of this so I just checked for you guys and there's around 85 calories in this pot I tell you what it tastes so creamy and so like normal Greek yogurt it's incredible so I definitely recommend getting some of these I think they're quite cheap as well and obviously there's the compot so I'm gonna have one of these as well. So for lunch, we've kind of got like a Mediterranean-style-esque lunch. So what we've got is I've done some rosemary uh, potato wedges. Okay, let me just show you what Vivi's got quickly. She's got the exact same, so I'll get her set up and then I'll talk you through what we've got. Vivi set up with a lunch and a happy bunny. I thought I'd chat you through what we've got. So what I've done is I've done some rosemary potato wedges. Like I know it looks like quite big and like quite complicated for lunchtime. However, I can assure you like literally I bunged all of this in the oven. So it's super convenient if you're kind of just having a day at home. So I've got some rosemary potato wedges. We've got a um, minted pea vegan burger. These are really, really nice. They're from I think the old gosh range at Morrison's. And um, we've also got some crispy kale which are kind of like crisp. So all you do there is you pop it in the oven probably for about two to three minutes, drizzle some olive oil up and the kale will crisp up. Vivi loves them. I've got some um, roasted courgette and some roasted parsnips and then we've got some hummus as well to dip our burgers in. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. And like I said, it's a bit Mediterranean style and Vivi loves it. So for pudding, I've done Vivi some raspberries, strawberries, and two sponge fingers. These are really good. Um, when she's teething, I find that she can proper munch down on them hard, and obviously they're dairy-free, which is fantastic. And then for me, I've got two of my beauty balls that I made this morning, and I will be posting a video um, on how I made these beauty balls and the recipe, so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see that. So we've just come into town, and we've got some flat white coffees. Mama has persuaded me. <laughs> 
two and a half of the video to get a coffee. Phoebe's gonna have some marshmallows, aren't you, darling? And then <laughs> we've got some secret cakes that we're gonna eat because Costa cakes are really expensive so we've got some secret cakes. So we'll show you them as well. And Phoebe's actually got some of these as well, which she really, really likes, don't you, darling? Yeah, me, Meth and Pretty Licious. And they're dairy free as well. And just coconut rolls. Look, she's going for them. Mum's swooping a sausage roll. <laughs> That's a swoop, isn't it? It's not as good as Greg's though, is it? No. <laughs> So we're at Nana's for tea and Vivi's having jack of potato with beans. I think she just used one of the oldie um, microwavable frozen jackets which takes six minutes. And then she's got some reduced sugar Heinz beans which she absolutely loves for tea. Um, John's out tonight so I'm not sure what I'm going to have for tea yet. I have got a ready meal in that I picked up yesterday. So I might have that but because we obviously had our coffee and cakes like at about three o'clock I might not be that hungry. So I might may potentially snack so I'm not sure how good of and eat what we eat in a day this is. Like, I do generally cook, I swear, most nights I do cook. Um, so I'll do another one, like at a later date, just to show you that I do cook as well. But yeah, Vivi's loving the jack of potato. Stuffing it in with your hands, aren't you, darling? You do have a spoon, but you seem to be able to get that in with your hands faster, don't you? So this is what I'm gonna have for my tea. I don't often actually do ready meals, but I haven't been food shopping this week yet. So, and like I said before, John's out. And Vivi obviously had her tea round her nana's. So this is what I'm going to go for. It's chicken and bacon pasta bake from the co-op. And I'm just going to bung this in the oven for 25 minutes. And then just chill out, edit some videos, and just have a nice relaxing evening to myself. 